Okay, in the front of this stack, I have the Trenet TEW684UB. This is a 450 megabit dual band wireless and USB adapter. Okay, this was released around the same time as the Trenet TEW691GR. Now this is a 450 megabit wireless and gigabit router. However, what you may notice about these two products is that this one is actually capable of higher speeds than this one. And these were were sold as like a, like a matched pair. You can see it'll probably recommend. No, it doesn't. Okay, well, whatever. Trendnet pitched it as those should work together pretty well, which they will. They will run at 450 megabit per second, which at the time was not available from any other manufacturer. However, Trendnet has recently released an updated dual band 450 megabit per second concurrent wireless and router. This is the TEW692GR. And you can see that these guys actually have matching charts, whereas the 691 that chart ends at 450 megabit per second. So here you can see 450 megabit per second dual band is even better than 450 megabit per second, which is even better than 300 megabit per second dual band, which is better than, and so on, and so on, and so forth. So today's unboxing is going to be for the truly matching router for that wireless adapter, which provides up to, once he gets the plastic off, then he will talk about the product. There we go. All right, up to 900 megabit per second of total wireless throughput. Concurrent dual band technology generates two separate 450 megabit per second wireless end networks at the same time. One touch network connection with Wi-Fi protected setup, all gigabit wired ports, which is an essential feature for any of these 300 megabit plus uh, wireless uh, routers, in my opinion, because otherwise you're just going to be bottlenecked by the wired ports anyway. All right, green net technology lowers energy consumption by 70%. Remember, green net, tech, green net technology turns off certain ports, powers things down, allows your router to be less power consuming than other routers. Advanced wireless encryption up to WPA2 radius. Advanced firewall protection, internet access control with Mac and URL filtering, and ease of use with an easy web browser configuration and remote management. And supports universal plug and play. Personally, I love universal plug and play. Some people say it's for noobs. I say fine, then I'm a noob, because I like it. All right, here we go. Dual band, wireless and USB adapter, something something, here it is. Oh no, that's the wireless and gaming adapter. There's the wireless and USB adapter. And here is the router, and here is how they envision your network to pretty much work. Cool beans. Okay, what else we got here? That's it. Let's open it up. Let's do the unboxing part. That's right in the title of this video. 692GR unboxing. So far I have unboxed nothing. Here we go. So there's a quick installation guide, which is in USA and Britain language, or also known as English, before you start hardware installation and how to configure the wireless router. We have a disc, which has a user's guide on it, so maybe don't throw that away. Might be useful. Next, we have a power adapter, fairly small wall wart made by Best Tech. It's the best, it's tech. Plugs into your router, makes it go. Makes the little turbines inside spin. Next, we have the wireless router, it's, no we don't. Okay, next we have an ethernet cable, it's blue, has plugs on the end. Finally, we have a mounting bracket, which I will take out, because we might show you how to use that if I can figure it out on camera. And I'm going to take off the plastic, which will reveal the incredibly shiny Linus. Yeah, I'm not going to show you the cameraman and the reflective surface. Sorry, guys. Yes, it is the true cameraman helping me today. The cameraman, the Apple enthusiast. Not, uh, not Darth Vader, not Crazy Russian, none of the others. Okay, so let's have a look at the router itself. This one features a green net badge on it, which the 691GR does not have. It also features a dual band 450 megabit per second logo on it. You've got the Trendnet branding here on the top. You've got the WPS button. This is very conveniently located. You know what? I'm kind of getting tired of seeing WPS buttons that are like on the back of the router or like on the side or on the bottom or wherever they end up being. This is convenient, right on the top. Very nice. Kudos Trendnet. All right, we have a power. We have Oh, <laughs> interesting. They're using an Internet Explorer logo for the WAN port. Okay, so then you got your four LAN indicators, your wireless indicators, and your WPS LED indicator. You've got a reset switch here on the side, as well as some ventilation holes. There's a fair amount of performance in a device like this, so those ventilation holes are probably needed. You got some more ventilation holes, as well as the antennas on the other side of the device. This is a fairly unconventional layout. Usually on a router, you see kind of nothing, lights, nothing, 
and then ports and and, and net antennas and reset switches and everything on the back. But on this one, instead, we've only got the ports on the back. So these are all gigabit network ports. There's your WAN port, and there is your power input on the back of the unit itself. Now it has, on the bottom, not a whole lot going on. And I want you guys to note that it does have three dedicated antennas, and these cannot be removed. So these are built-in antennas. So I will be doing some testing on the 692GR against its little brother, the 692 one GR with the this guy ah the concurrent N USB adapter so stay tuned for that on my NCIX com channel and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings reviews and other computer videos. Cameraman figured out how the uh, mount worked so basically all you do is you take the router and you put it on there. Yeah, it's actually that uncomplicated. So what that means is, and this is actually smarter than it at first appears, because, okay, for one thing, it just plugs into your ventilation holes at the bottom. You can still access your reset switch. They did think of that. And for another thing, look at what this does. So it puts it up this way. So you can see your indicator lights from the front still. It takes all of your antennas and puts them up higher, which seems like logically, intuitively, might be better, right? And then last but not least, it still leaves all of your ports at the back. See? Smart.